That man has worked like no other. He's had some absolute heartbreak in his career, getting to final after final. I think it's 11 finals that he's got to. He eventually won the Grand Slam of Darts, um, and that was his breakthrough, really. But to come and, and win the world in his fourth World Championship final against Michael Van Gerwen, who's been there and done it and won three <clears throat> yep. of them, and also to do it in the manner that he did do it as well. Because one thing that, that he was criticised for a lot, Gabby, is people were saying he was getting into a final and then losing it. Um, and they would criticise his um, mental strength. You know, they'd say he's a bottler, a bottle mm. job, basically. And it Can't was never, it enough, was never yeah. that. It was just it was just getting over the line on a, on a big stage. And now he's done it. I think everybody that's connected to, to darts in some way was really happy to see this yes. for him <clears throat> because he's actually a, a great guy. Do you think guy. he'll dominate now? I don't Go know, to but, win more or... but we always say, like, once the first big one comes, yeah. the, the door opens of then. Course. and that is, uh, Peter Wright was the same. It took Peter Wright a, a really long time to get over the line. And then we did it. He started to become not necessarily dominant, but he won a lot. Yeah. You, you could know? hear in his voice then, couldn't you? You know, yeah. like how happy he is, yeah. emotional to win. Oh, Fair really, play to him. really, really special. Uh, joining us now is a man that got to witness it there last night. He was in the commentary box for TalkSport, the wonderful Ian Danter. Good morning, Dance. Good morning, good. Mr. Aston Villa. Good morning, morning. Happy Ian. New Year. How are we? Yeah, happy New Year. Happy yeah, New Year. Yeah, we are. Um, what was that like, Ian, last night? Extraordinary night. I mean, I, I, was, I wasn't... I was. Um, you heard Mark Wilson was commentating so superbly when that the greatest mm. leg of darts ever was played between the two of them. But I, I just happened to be out in the mm. arena at that point, Laura. You've been there to Ali Pali mm. enough times. You know what the atmosphere can be like. I, it was just the the tension, the anticipation was quite extraordinary. And then when Smith nails that double 12, and this was only the second set, everybody knew that we were in for a, a barnstormer at that mm. point. Because at least you knew at that point that, in his two previous finals, he, he'd started a bit slowly and not been able to keep pace with either Van Gerwen, who beat him in the first final, or Wright, who beat him in the second. Once he'd nailed that nine data, you just got that feeling in, in the water that, OK, whatever's going to happen, he's going to be able to at least keep pace with Van Gerwen and see where it gets us later in the match. And then he goes ahead in the seventh set, uh, four sets to three, and I think that was one of the first times that Michael Van Gerwen had been behind in the whole tournament, if not the first time. Yeah. And from that moment, you'll have seen as well enough times, Laura, that, that Michael Smith is a very good front runner. Mm -hmm. Once you get his nose in front, it's hard to, to, to peg him back. So fantastic for him. I'm so pleased for him. I, I think that's it as well, that you're the, the, the pleasure in your voice and the way you're saying that I think is shared by some people a lot of people in the world of darts isn't it because they're so willing Michael Smith to, to win a world championship you, you think about how you know 10 years or so he's been uh, plying his trade as a, as a PDC professional you mentioned the number of major finals he's mm. been in and not been able to convert it he really has been one of darts nearly men for a very very long time and having lost the final last year to Peter Wright, uh, you know, people were expecting 2022 to have been a bit of a drop-off year for him. But you mentioned he won the Grand Slam in Wolverhampton. He'd also won the US Darts Masters, uh, mm. Darts Masters earlier in the year in New York. So there were signs that that millstone was, you know, getting lifted from around his neck. Mm. Uh, and he had some dodgy moments in, in this championship. Don't get me wrong. He was very nearly knocked out by Martin Schindler, the German, earlier in the competition, who I think was sat on 76 for the match. And Michael Smith had one dart at a double to keep himself in the match. Once he'd hit that double, prevented Schindler taking out 76. He then came from three sets to one down to beat him 4-3. So it's not been plain sailing for him. Meanwhile, Michael Van Gerwen had been absolutely annihilating everybody uh, beat Dimitri Vandenberg six in the semi-final and barely dropped a leg, never mind a set. And yet, once Smith got his nose in front, Van Gerwen's games seemed to desert him. It was amazing stuff. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.